Hello guys, welcome back to Amalabi Channel, where you learn interesting info about your favorite actors and athletes. The main character of our video today is Julio Cesar Chavez. Julio Cesar Chavez Gonzalez, also known as Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., is a Mexican former professional boxer who competed from 1980 to 2005, who was born on July 12, 1962, in Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico, and is now 59 years old. In his 25 year career as boxer, he was multiple time world champion in three weight divisions. First remarkable performance in the arena of boxing, Chavez was regarded for several years as one of the best powerful pad boxers in the world. Born in a poor family of Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez grew up in an abandoned railroad car with his five sisters and four brothers. His father, Rodolfo Chavez, worked for the railroad. To earn money, Chavez decided to be a boxer. He started boxing as an amateur at the age of 16 and later shipped it to Tijuana to pursue a professional career in boxing. Julio Chavez Sr. once married to Amalia Carrasso. They had two sons who became professional boxers, Omar Chavez and former WBC middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He found second love of his life in Miriam Escobar Chavez. The couple married in September 2014 and had a daughter named Nicole Chavez, Julio Cesar is living life to the fullest with his family in Mexico. Chavez made his professional debut at the age of 17 as an infighter or swarmer. He was renowned especially for his devastating left hook and his extremely strong chin. In review, Chavez's career lasted for 25 years with a record 107 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws with 86 knockouts. He won 6 world titles in 3 weight divisions, WBC Super Featherweight in 1984, WBA Lightweight in 1987, WBC Lightweight in 1988, WBC Light Welterweight in 1989, IBF Light Welterweight in 1990 and WBC Light Welterweight in 1994 for the second time. He was also awarded the Ring Lightweight Championship in 1988. World champions whom Chavez defeated include Jose Luis Ramirez, Rafael Limon, Rocky Lockridge, Merrick Taylor, Roger Mayweather, Lonnie Smith, Sammy Fuentes, among others. He also lost to three champions, Randall, Oscar De La Hoya, and Costia Suzu. Chavez is considered one of the greatest fighters of all time. He holds records for most successful consecutive defenses of world titles, 27, most title fights, 37, and most title five victories, 31. He was named Fighter of the Year for the 1987 and 1999 by Boxing Writers Association of America and the ring respectively. He is ranked as the 17th best boxer of all time, half a pound by BoxRec, and 24th on ESPN's list of 50 greatest boxers of all time, and 18 on the ring's 80 best fighters of the last 80 years. On December 7, 2010, his induction into the International Boxing Hall of Fame was announced. In 2021, Julio Cesar Chavez's net worth was estimated to be $10 million. So 
former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson stated that Chavez was one of the greatest fighters of his generation and top five of all time from his point of view. During the late part of his career, Chavez struggled with drug addiction and alcohol abuse. He stated that he started drinking the night after his fight against Edwin Rosario. He later developed a cocaine habit, which dropped his stellar performance. The boxer was also entrapped in tax invasion controversy, made the wrong investment in business, lost his money, and linked to Mexican drug cartels and gangs. His addiction, heavy drinking, tax embezzlement, and physical violence ended not only his career, but his marriage with Amalia. Chavez got into rehab several times until he recovered. Nowadays, he never uses the above drugs and has remained sober for some time now. Presently, he works as an analyst for ESPN and TV Azteca and spends his time between Mexico and the United States where he owns businesses and properties. So how do you think about him? Leave a comment to let us know and don't forget to like and subscribe button to support our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Malapi channel.